Yeah, you're right. Make me fucking laugh. I'll try I not to look to. at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Here we are, RC model geeks in the shed. Uh, today we're going to do a build, and this is going to be new from Hobby King. Here's the box. Now, I have to say, we love the box. Yeah, check the box out. Look at the thickness of that uh, that corrugated cardboard. Yeah, 10 millimetre um, walls. It's, it's massive. Um, so, uh, this is the Hobby King Estrella Sport 50E. Um, and we're going to build it and we're going to fly it. Excellent. Um, yeah. So, let's open the box. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow. So, no manual uh, with this, of course. Uh, you get it on CD. So, we'll have a look at uh, what's on there at some point. Uh, and see how that goes. <coughs> um, obviously, wings. Beautiful. We're not going to make this an unboxing because uh, you'll see all the bits when we put it together. Yeah. But uh, we'll just show you a few of the little bits there. So there's one of the wings. Not bad. Nice. Doesn't doesn't come hinged. You've got to put your hinges in. Um, no electrics in it, of course. Um, there's the quality. And let's have a look at some other bits. There's the rudder, slotted for the uh, for the horns. We'll see how that all goes together. Mm -hmm. Vertical fin. Very nice. Very nice. Um, two halves of elevator. Not sure uh, that's stuck in there already. Um, there you go, that slots straight in there, beautiful. Um, and there you go. It all seems to sort of fit. A bit skanky there. And there's the other wing, and the fuselage is, uh, is underneath. Mm -hmm. Let's just have a quick look. Get that out of there. Uh, there's the fuselage. In all its glory, we'll get that out later. Ah, you've got a nice big uh, wing joiner. Carbon. Um, push rods. Uh, what else do you get? Um, cowling. That's a nice paint job on there. That actually. is a nice paint job on there, yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, you get a fuel tank of course if you're uh, if you're icy. Mm -hmm. You get a massive bag of bits. Um, <laughs> we'll see what that all's all about mm -hmm. um, at some point. Get some spats in there. Very small wheels. Uh, you get a bit of plastic. Yep. Uh, you get a white spinner mm -hmm. and uh, some undercarriage legs by the looks of it. Feel like they're aluminium. Nice. And uh, well, that's pretty much it, really. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll put this together, and you can follow along and see what disasters we come upon. Okay. Okay. We've uh, opened the accessory bag, as you can see, here it is, it's empty. Laid the bits out on the bench, uh, just so we can have a look, see what we've got. So we've got one bag in there with uh, the horns and uh, hinges. They're just like the normal sort of mylar furry, glue them in with uh, super glue hinges. A couple of wooden blocks in there and other bits and pieces. Um, you've got the engine mount if you go in IC. Uh, you've got some standoffs, four standoffs there, and some nuts and bolts, and um, some ball links and stuff, which are obviously for the, um, the control surfaces. Uh, you've got the bolts for the uh, uh, holding the wing on. Strengthener plate, by the looks of it, just guessing, uh, that, that goes across uh, the wing bolt holes when uh, you stuck the wing together. 
um, some more cap head bolts and um, some blind nuts and some other screws and bits and pieces. Uh, two wheels with uh, axles that you screw in and a tail wheel assembly um, and some crevices and some more screws and things. And that is what is in that bag. Okay. So we're going to commence the build with the wing and we're going to glue in uh, the hinges to the uh, aileron. Okay, cool. We're on to the first uh, item which is gluing the hinges onto the ailerons and onto the wing. Um, as you can see, there's the uh, online manual, or rather the PDF that comes on the CD. Uh, so we're going to uh, get on with the first item. Okay. Over here. Now, the hinges all come like that. All stamped out on one sheet. Um, they're the normal glue-in type. Um, this super glue. So, let us remove the tape. So we've got four slots, one, two, three, four, five. Mm hmm. 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 Let's refer to the manual again. Okay. One, two, three, four. That's a good start, Rob. That's a good start, isn't it, Colin? Mm. There are actually five. Okay. Not four. <laughs> There you go. So that's on the first item on the manual, it's wrong. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Let's hope they actually supply enough hinges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, let's get these babies out, shall we? Um, and what we will do it with is no scissors. So let's chop off those. All right, we've got six here. We're being really daring. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're gonna trial fit these. into the slots. These slots are flipping tight, people. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I can't get that one in that slot. And they're a little bit offline as well. Ooh. That is tight. So you're going to have to open up your slots slightly. Okay. Um, and we'll be back in a minute when we've done that, I think. Okay. Be right back. So we've um, glued the hinges in uh, into the aileron. Um, they're all nicely in there. We had to open up all of the uh, of, of the slots with a knife uh, just because they were so tight there was no way you were getting those hinges in because they're so thick. Um, so we've pushed them in, glued them in um, and the next thing we'll do is open up the slots in the wing, get these hinges pushed in and, uh, and super glue them in and we'll come back to you. Okay. So we've um, we've pushed the hinges into the uh, the wing side as well, and got the aileron uh, glued in there. Um, the wood that's on the uh, on the on the wing side of the uh, of the hinge is much uh, much softer than the uh, the wood that's on the aileron side, so it was much easier to get the the hinges in there. Um, so we'll let that go off for a few minutes, and we'll uh, we'll do the other wing. But it's uh, looking good so far. Excellent. So we've glued the ailerons in, and so the next thing is to put in the servos into the wing uh, with the horns and etc, etc, etc. So we'll, uh, we'll take you through doing one of those. We're not going to do both of them. We'll do one, because you know, one's the same, just in the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, and we'll be back with you in a minute. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. The first thing we've got to do is, well, they supply um, a couple of horns or arms for the servos. Um, uh, which are these things? Now these have got to be mounted onto your uh, onto your output arm of your servo, like that, with four screws. Um, on air servo output arms, we've got a, a, a raised portion here. Don't know whether you can see that in the video. Now you can either get rid of that so that this mounts flush, or you can open up this hole so that that pokes through and gives it more strength. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open up this hole to this uh, the size of this sticky up bit, uh, and on this it's 7mm, so we're going to drill that out to 7mm and uh, drop that in and screw it on. Mm -hmm. There you go. So now this should, hopefully, there you go, sits flat, that pokes through. So all we've got to do is put four screws through here and that arm is completed. Excellent. So we've just finalised screwing the arm onto the output arm, which is there. Okay. Now. Uh, the instructions say these should be 8mm. Um, uh, there aren't any 8mm in the, in the packs, there's only 10mm uh, screws. So uh, that's what we've had to use. Uh, so you'll probably have to chop them off after because they're sticking through way too much and uh, they bloody hurt when you screw them into your finger. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, chop, chop all those off once they're screwed in and that's your uh, output arm done. Excellent. And chop them off. Okay. Remember, safety first, kids. Yeah. Always use glasses. Yeah. Preferably with alcohol in. Yeah. Vodka. Vodka. Okay, so there is our output arm. Um, with the screws cut off. Everything's wonderful. Can you flip it over again, Rob? That's it. Lovely. Okie dokie. And then that's going to go onto our servo. Like that. Now you can chop these uh, arms off if you want as well, uh, just to make the whole thing look nice. So there we go, we've trimmed all that back. Looking good. And she's ready. So now we're going to move on to mounting the servo uh, into the wing uh, and we'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, then go away. So we've just come to put the servo onto the mounting plate and uh, we've run across a little problem. Uh, the, the thickness of this arm with the screw and the output arm and everything is actually too thick to go through 
uh, the slot that they have in the plate as you can see yeah, and if you want to get the servo right. flush on the plate uh, you're screwed yeah so um, you're gonna have to open up uh, this this slot I'm afraid sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> so we'll uh, do that and uh, and come back to you in a second okay somehow so we've opened up the slot now um, <laughs> so that the uh, uh, the whole thing actually clears it's still you know it's tight but um, yeah that will now uh, now actually work excellent so we'll get the uh, the blocks screwed on here uh, glued on here um, and come back to you okay we've just come to uh, to do the aileron push rods we've got our servo glued onto our plate we've got the plate the way around it shows you in the instructions um, we've got the horn temporarily in there um, and the distance between the uh, the mounting points for the push rod are actually wrong um, if we give you a quick example, here's the push rod, it's all screwed up and we'll line it up there, as you can see you're probably 15mm um, out of position um, there's the mounting point and it should be up here um, what you need to do uh, or what we're going to try is we're going to swap over these mounting plates uh, from one wing to the other so that turns the slot around and moves it away from the horn uh, and we'll show you that in a minute okay what we've done is we've swapped around the left and the right wing servo mounting plates this is the original one that would have gone on this wing um, as you can see it would have sat like that um, but as you can see here's the push rod that they supply um, uh, no way was that arm coming in the right um, the right place. Um, we're using standard servos, of course. You might get away with it if um, you're using a, a like a mini servo or something like that. But we're using standard size servos. So what we've done is we've taken the servo mounting plate off the other wing and put it on here, which shifts that slot further away from the horn. There's a push rod, and it's perfect fit. So, if you're using standard servos, um, I suggest you do that. And actually, probably even with the uh, mini servos, you might need to do it anyway. Um, so there you go. We'll um, screw this together and uh, carry on. Okay. Top tip. So, I've got our servos uh, all mounted in the wing, and uh, we're going to put in the uh, the horns there on the ailerons now. Now they're uh, glued in. Uh, we're going to epoxy them. Uh, make sure that you just clear away a piece of. Um, uh, covering there uh, for this plate. Make sure you roughen up this horn uh, with a bit of sandpaper. Get it nice and uh, nice and rough. And basically, just glue it in. Uh, we're going to use epoxy because uh, it's nice and strong. Um, I wouldn't be using uh, super glue on this. That would be very very silly. Um, so yeah, get loads of epoxy all around it and get some in the hold as well there we go and push the horn in and that's it, make sure to wipe away any excess glue around the edges and uh, she's done Okay, we've pretty much finished um, <coughs> one wing here. Uh, we've got the push rods on with the uh, with the ball links. Um, uh, everything's pretty much uh, ready to go. For uh, for extra safety, if you wanted to, um, a lot of the helicopter boys do this. You can put a washer uh, under here then if the ball link um, <coughs> pops off or fails the washer stops it falling off completely and you've still got some control um, yeah, um, do it if you want, don't have to, they don't supply the washers so it's up to you um, we'll finish the other wing 
and uh, and then we're on to the uh, onto the fuselage. Excellent. Uh, so I think that's going to be part two because we've done a whole day mucking about with this wing. <laughs> so um, yeah, wait for part two and hopefully we'll uh, we'll finish it off uh, and then get a maiden. Okay, so it's bye bye from him and it's goodbye from him. <laughs>